Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it! Okay, think, Delson, think! <sighs> Party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. Who's out there? Delson. Would you put the stapler down? Seriously. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the big to-do at the Longhouse? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight, but you look amazing. It looks great on you. Seriously. What were you doing up on the roof? Hmm? Nothing. Just... Were you up to mischief? Come on, I know you're in there. So just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. You're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I cannot believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom! And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Wait. Ah, go crap. Shoot! 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 Get out of here! That was close. Don't look down! Don't look down! Don't look down! And the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? 
misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you even talking about? Why don't you always do this, Reggie? Why don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you would listen, shit you're gonna share us from. Really? You. Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Oh. <sighs> Holy shit, Ooh. dude. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you alright? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh God, no! Stop it! Stop it! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! No. I gotta get through here. What is going on? Reggie! Off you. You just. I gotta get you out! Yeah. Okay. Okay, just. Just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, no, no! Oh, shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're all right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. We get out there. There is a bio so We gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay, come on. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't... Just promise me you won't do that. Hey. Hey. Just... I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing. Okay? It's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. 
Wait, he's not... Damn it. When the tribe hears about you, there's gonna be a panic. Fine, go. Control the mobs. All right, I'm, I'm coming back with help. See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist, and be careful. Let me know what those freaks are capable of. Yeah, those freaks. I gotta do something. Betty needs me. Vince, good to know. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty, where are you, Betty? Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty! You gotta get out of here, lady! Stay away from I'm me! I'm trying to help Don't you, lady! Stay away from me! Stop! Stop. Delvin! I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now! Good, I'm gone! Not until you fix this first! I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. But that also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. around inside my head. It was me? I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! We're not going anywhere. Until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life! And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! This ain't something that can be fixed! Then... At least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. DUP's coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. This 
Spire's only going to buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I got to get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. She's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm going to die in a fish guttery. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop. Let's talk about this. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards... Or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um... No, he didn't... he didn't share anything. <laughs> good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life-and-death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do... whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because... <laughs> Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty, don't! Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I have no further use for you. Ah! Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you, mm. Betty? Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm told that hurts.
hell's going on here? They turned the log house into a hospital? Have I been out? The Department of Unified Protection. As the DOP lockdown of Seattle enters its second week now, there is still no sign of any progress. We'll of course continue to follow the story and we'll have the very latest for you coming up. For now, I'm Charles Sandal. Nick, man, what the hell happened? Turn that damn thing off. People are sleeping here. Did anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Betty. I'm glad to see you're up. Yeah. I guess Augustine wasn't bluffing, huh? Well, no one here was gonna turn you in to protect themselves. We're comish. We take care of our own. I guess I did the right thing. You imagine what that bitch would have done to me if I'd actually talked? Probably the same thing she did to everyone else in this room when you didn't. Do me a favor and um, tell everybody else that uh, I said uh, thanks for taking one for the team. Yeah. Oh, man, Delson. Whoa. <laughs> Damn it. I thought we were going to lose you there. A little concrete in the legs. Something more than that. Oh, glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these... They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. Then screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie... I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only... The only way it's getting out is with the same power, I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... 
that's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech conduit power buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dell. all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Crap, would you look at this? Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! <laughs> this is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a... Oh, this must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep! <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. Well, this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save Damsel in Distress. Anyone? It's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Oh. Okay, yeah, that could definitely be habit. Dude, who's still using that? Oh, maybe I just need to refill the smoke tank. Good to go. Yeah, this should do the trick. I need you up here. Dude, you will not leave what that beefing was. Just get up I... here, but just abandon the bus. They don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Delson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus.
gonna take forever. There's gotta be a faster way. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Reg. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Delson, I'm not- Ah, lost you. Have to hit the mute button. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. Listen, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go, sir. Just give me a second. Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you. All right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. on the GPS tracking on your phone, in case we get separated? Oh, you mean like, right now? Attention. The scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge, by order of the DUP, will begin shortly. All vehicles and individuals are ordered to... Huh. Sounds like useful information. Nelson, I got the aid workers across the DUP. Clearing the bridge. Coming back for you, so. Is you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey, hey! You guys need any help? Oh shit! A bio terrorist! Hey, hey! It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No! 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is going to come in real handy. Shoot me like that? Big mistake. Mine now. Okay, okay, I'll give up, okay? Just don't hurt me. Should have said please.
Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Reggie? Oh man, answer me! Oh my god. This was a bridge. I'm coming, Reg. Come on, core relay, work your magic. For the shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. <laughs> okay, okay, easy. Bad time, Betty. You took off before I was through talking to you. Well, you know, I had, I had plans. I heard you and Reggie were heading to Seattle, of all places. Really gotta go, Betty. Love you. <sighs> Hold still. Yeah, oh my God. We're almost across. Devil Bridge? Set up pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Take it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. I can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. So... Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I can did. take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine. 
Fine, do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? These DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you... that natural bioterrorists have. The government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up the... Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Once we're through, I'll check with a couple of my cop buddies and try and get access to the police databases. In the meantime, I need you to just lay low. It might spook them if I show up with a bioterrorist. Okay, boss man. This is a registered firearm. I'm a police officer. Hey, so won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends. I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something.
Where's everybody going? Return to your homes immediately, or we will open fire. Woohoo! Use the force authorized to repel civilians' attack. That feels good. Nelson, got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the UP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center, got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication gear on top. All right, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. Now, if you blow out enough of those, the core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels, got it. Short and sweet.
You must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. you big fella well did it work uh no time to check man I got dupes coming at me from every direction get the hell out of there yeah great advice I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Yeah, well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No. Forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg. You're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow. Not sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Peeping Toms.
this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Yeah, well, that's how martial law works. Control the city and the people by breaking the boat down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. So you're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skill. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Look out below! Not bad, huh? Hey, you want to see it again?
escucho. Man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit them. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to them, so maybe they'll just give up? Why? Spoil the surprise when it happens. <laughs> Good point. I gotta tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, hotshot? She just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, you remember? Right, so you're thinking one more's not gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Reg, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted, no ferries going in or out, or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. This is not gonna be easy, is it? You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Why would people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, that can't be it.
feel good about this one. Suck on this! You know, secondhand smoke is bad for you. Points and cameras on just about every corner. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Okay, so that way is not an option. This better work. It freaking worked! Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, I need more! No, man, that's all you get. I mean, this bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle.
Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not... Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but... What would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh my god, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. Dupes had those things locked down. Well, I suppose that hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime conduit, like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. I mean, the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on, even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going. Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will ya? Man, this stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Nelson Rowe, you hung up on me before. Sorry, Betty, but uh... Don't tell me this is a bad time to... Actually, at the moment, I'm... <laughs> kind of climbing up the outside of the Space Needle. Well... If you don't want to talk to me, just say so. Gonna have to call you back, Betty. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. Time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Rex, man, they got a small army up here. Good. Means they're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delta. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. was awesome!
Yeah, I don't think this is gonna cut it. Nothing bad ever came from getting new powers. This is going to be epic! Subtleties for losers. What a rush! I hope Reggie's got a good view of this. It goes away. Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Red. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets. In the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man! You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg, you see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. That's cool. What's the symbol supposed to mean? Not sure. The Banner Man got away before the dupe reinforcements got here. Nelson, I've been asking around about the escaped bioterrorists. Do you think I maybe need like a PR guy? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, people here are starting to call me the Banner Man, which, A, is unbelievably lame. Uh, maybe not the best idea, you hanging around the Space Needle right now? Well, I mean, why not Smoke-tastic Man, or, or, hell, just the Smoker? Look. I'll keep trying to get a lead on the escape bioterrorists. Why don't you see if you can disrupt other DUP operations around there until I get back?
man, a plan, and an aerosol can. improvement. Fine, lay it on me. I'm still at the station. Not a great place to talk. Uh, I'll meet you at 4th and Vickers.
fumes here. I can shoot missiles from my hands? made the world a little better place.
Jeez, these guys are obsessed with me. Thank you. You're welcome, world. Drop. 
Kaba at the Pacific Science Center today as an unidentified man scaled Seattle's iconic Space Needle and attached an enormous banner to its spire. And all the meaning of the flag symbol and the identity of the banner man and all the brain mysteries, what is clear is that Seattle's bioterrorist population... Banner man. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bioterrorist? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. They just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous. Yeah. Listen, Delson, it, it's gonna be police officers at this crime scene, okay? Not DUPs. Now, I'm here to support you, but killing cops... I got it, I got it. I'll put my phasers on and stun. Conduits because they've been trained to. Or maybe it's because they kill people. And maybe that's because sometimes they're given no other choice. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very... showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh! What about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Reg, I got a convoy of dupes heading to the scene. Yeah, um, might want to steer clear of them? Hate to interrupt this little pep talk, but you got any luck with that first victim on your face database thing? No, nothing. That must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two.
Time out. Slow break. No, it's get the conduit! Jeez, and good luck with that. Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau sick. Okay, I just need... Let me guess, face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. 
All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. Guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for his stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy! Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Found our sniper, going after him. Be careful! Real original advice. Wait, 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 wait! Don't impale me! I come in peace. It's okay! It's okay, I'm one of you! I mean, one of us! Just slow down! I'm not gonna hurt you! God, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like... Like, really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh-eating death gaze. I want that. Don't be greedy. Funny thing, man. I Just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Uh, must be his power source. Then head back to the sign. See what you can find. You should see what this guy can do, man. Like, lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one-two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Take it easy. We've got to find him again first. All right, I'm here. Any idea what I should be looking for? Just anything that might help well, with who our sniper Well, one is. thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? You should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is... Definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay, uh, look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. Okay, those definitely very likely belong to a woman. Like you know. I wonder who Brent is. I can't help you there. Okay, I can see how you might think those are women's shoes. Yeah, they're like size negative. Seriously? 
A serial killer who reached Jane Eyre? Oh, totally. Jane Eyre is like the female catcher in the rye. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm looking. I guess this counts as interesting. That's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, we'll get lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking, when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like, zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. It's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin to the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. <sighs> sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP yeah, is trying to scare sucks. people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. I'm at the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. Looks like a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just rough them up. Scare them a little. And Nelson, I heard shots. Did you kill them? Hey, I was trying to do my duty as a citizen, man, but they were trying to do their duty as criminals. Rich, you should see this man. Speedy gone crazy is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one, too. You gotta admit, girl makes a mean vortex. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. And now we come to the highlight of the tour. 
Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day, while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way.